What is going on, guys? So, got a new video for you today. An invention. This is going to be my first invention episode, and uh, yeah, it's finally time. I am uploading this and making this on uh, the 28th, around 1 a.m., so I told people at the end of the month is what we're going to try to release. We got about four days till the end of the month. I don't know if we can quite hit that goal. Uh, we still have a lot left, a lot of grindy stuff. Nothing hard, just grindy, because every, um, you know, the entire, like, pr like, theme of the skill, the, the entire point is that you would use this on an item to disassemble it. Uh, yeah, hey, ignore that. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so you, um, you know, there's every single action that, you know, every single time you have to do that, there's some sort of output. So I have to do that for every item you're going to be able to disassemble, which is going to be a ton of items. Exactly how many, I'm not sure. I'm not going to do it for everything. Obviously, that'd be insane. I'm going to do most of the things you would imagine... Uh, such as, you know, things things in the shops, the bigger items, stuff like that. So, uh, that's going to take a little while. But, um, the main thing that I really want to show off in this video is how it's all going to work. So, like I just mentioned, you'll have the device, or, well, you'll be able to purchase the device. And you will just assemble items, your normal items, most of the things in the shop will work. I'll have more information out when the um, server's out, like in terms of like what items, what, what all items disassemble, and for what components and the amounts and whatnot, but... Uh, you would get the components. Um, so type in invention, colon colon invention, or invent. Figure a command is the easiest way to get people there. So you have two NPCs here, Oldak and uh, Dragato. So the d first dude you want to talk to is Oldak, and it says that in the thing. Now if you ask him about invention, he'll give you a small little rundown, but it's essentially just what I'm going to tell you. Any of these schematics. And again, these prices, <laughs> no, I'm not, I'm not nice. <laughs> these will not be free. I promise you this skill is going to be pricey. So... Uh, I haven't determined prices yet. I want to make sure that you can. I want to make sure you can get 99 without really breaking your bank. But anything further and to do any like of the good stuff, you're gonna want some money. So, um, first thing you want to do is get the device and you'll disassemble things. And now, if you actually want to make anything, you're gonna need a schematic. So I'll go over these in a bit, and they're all labeled as to what they do. So you can imagine garden pie would uh, let you know how to make a garden pie, and if you examine them, it will tell you what the required items are. Summer pie plus X. The X is for, like, it's because I haven't determined exact rates yet. Um, so there's a rumor going around that only rare items are going to matter. That's not true. Um, I don't know where that started. Rare items are good. There is a rare component, but you don't just need rare items. And I'll sort of go over what everything needs in a bit. But one thing I want to mention before this video gets too long. Do you guys want to know everything about Invention? Do you want me to, like, give you all the information in these videos? Or do you want to go into it surprised? So there's going to be a mini straw poll in the description. Just vote on that. Simple questions. Do you want everything? Or do you want just a little bit just to sort of get you started and then you want to figure it out yourselves? Um, so in terms of the rewards, I do want to go over these because if you have any opinions, if you want to take anything away or add anything, you got to let me know immediately. So Garden Pie, basically it is a OP food source. Um, it, each slice heals 20. So it has the potential for uh, OPness. OPness. Nice. Overload, it is not the same as old school. In fact, it is coded. Let me sip one and show you what it does. So I have stats I don't. Okay. Yeah, I figured this one might cause some controversy. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to show you what the overload does. So the overload isn't like the normal overload booster 125 and it uh, doesn't it doesn't like degrade your stats and whatnot. Uh, so sip it. Boom. And there you go. So we have... Uh, the nice and powerful uh, 118 super combat effect. It counts as a super combat. It counts as super range, super mage. It counts as a anti-fire. It counts as an aggression potion. It counts as a anti-poison. And it counts as... There's one more. Anti-poison, anti-fire, aggression. I think that's it. So it does do, uh, it does do pretty much everything. It's your one-stop shop for potions. Um, if you have any feedback on that... Let me know if you think it's too overpowered or if you think it should have. There was some debate over whether or not it should restore your prayer as well. That the People thought that that might be too far, so I didn't add that. If you have any thoughts on that, let me know. Let's get back to the shop. Uh, so we have uh, magic beans. This will uh, basically clean herbs for you. So if you have 27 grimy guams and you have the magic beans, use the magic beans on the guams. It cleans the guams. So straightforward. Um, amethyst arrow. Amethyst arrow is going to be tier 70 arrows. So these will be the best arrows in game. And you'll actually be able to make uh, bolts as well. It does say ammo, so there will be amethyst bolts. Um, enchanted log, enchanted bar, enchanted soul, those are all kind of self-explanatory. 
uh, log is good fire making experience, bar is good smithing experience, the soul, you'll be able to turn the um, KBD head, KQ head, or abyssal demon heads into an ensouled head, which will give you a ton of prayer experience and possibly some other goodies. I'm still working on that. If you have any suggestions, go for it. That applies to everything I talk about in this video. If you have any suggestions, any feedback, let me know, please. Uh, so Lucky Amulet, which will be um, Amulet of Fury, Rabbit's Foot, Lucky Components. Basically, it will be the only Lucky Amulet in game, so uh, that'll be interesting. Ring of Fortune, Ring of the Pugs. You guys already know those. Uh, I'll give you the little examines on these. So, uh, oh, I guess I should have done that probably in better order. The Luck of the Pugs will need a Ring of Fortune certain amount of lucky components, a certain amount of rare components, and a certain amount of uber components, and the Ring of Fortune needs just onyx rank and lucky components. Totem transmute, bludgeon transmute, barrows transmute, and crest transmute. Uh, so those are pretty self-explanatory once I explain them. <laughs> so I guess they're not self-explanatory. Basically, you'll be able to exchange totem pieces, bludgeon pieces, barrows, items, and crest pieces. Uh, death darts, which will are kind of like insta kill darts, but there is a chance that they won't insta kill. So that's not that's why I'm not calling them insta kill darts. But uh, these will be pretty interesting, and these will be from rare and crep components. Crep components will be from things like um, let, let me check. Right, so crep components will be from like the spirit shields, uh, blessed spirit shield, the normal ones, the better ones obviously will have the best chances. Barrows items, and then Cerberus items. So all of those will be the crumb component. And then rare components are, you know, obviously rare items like Santa hats, Halloweens. There's some other smaller things. People are kind of wondering what's all going to be in that. There's a couple other things you might not expect. I'll just give you one heads up. Dragon Full Helm will give you a couple rare components. So there's smaller things like that that actually will give you components. So you don't necessarily have to just disassemble a thousand uh, Halloween masks and party hats and whatnot. Um, Augmenter and Siphon, those are to upgrade your gear. I don't really have much to show you on these yet because Dark is going to have to code this method, so I'll uh, save these two for another video. And then we have the Imbued Eye, which is this little item down here. It is essentially a range version of the Imbued Heart. So if you see I am 109 range, boom, 116 range. It does actually boost you a little bit further than a super range pot, so that is the same as the, the Magic version. So that's pretty cool right there. And uh, let me give you just an examine on those. Or examine. <laughs> so, um, Elf's Head, if you're wondering, basically it is in this shop. So, this is kind of like a complimentary shop. It sells you some of the things, like for example, the Garden Pie will require Summer Pie. The uh, Magic Beans require a Small Pouch. Amethyst Arrows will require these. Uh, Augmenter, and then the Siphon. One of these is one of them. I don't remember exactly which. And then anything in the future will be added in here as well. So, that's the uh, skinny of it all. Um, if you have any questions, any suggestions, anything like that, let me know. I do plan to make more videos as the progression progresses, as we make more progress and whatnot, especially on the augmenting and whatnot, because that's really the main thing that, um, that's going to be cool about an invention. People are wondering, how do you actually train the skill? Well, making things will give you experience. If you, you know, make any of these things, you'll get some experience, but augmenting your weapons is going to be the best way to do it. So on old school, or not old school, on R3, you would augment, let's just say this whip, for example, and then you would go kill things with it, and while you're killing things with it, you're like training invention. So after you charge it up completely, you would use a siphon on it and um, get f full or get half experience, or you would disassemble it completely and get full experience. So it's pretty interesting. It's definitely a very good catch sink. There's gonna be a lot of items GG'd, but uh, the good thing about it is it's like a bossing skill. So it's actually like I mean you're you're losing items and it is a catch sink. But it's kind of a fun one. I mean, you get, like, a lot of these items are, are pretty good. A lot of these rewards are good. The augmenting weapons will have better stats, so there is a reason to do it. And you don't have to lose your item completely. You can just siphon it and whatnot. So we're still working on that. I'll have more to show once that's all done and whatnot.